I want to encourage you, ladies, to know who you are. It's a book I'm coming up with. It says, who are you? Do you know who you are as a woman, first of all? When you came into this world, you came in as a baby. How many of you have children? The way your babies came in is the way you came into. When that baby came into this world, that baby had no name. Somebody called that baby a name. And that baby is you sitting down here in this chair. Along the way, due to where we came from or our lo general locations, we have norms, ideas, cultures, traditions that we come into this place with. And we've journeyed. Everybody in America is an immigrant. There's not one person in America that is not an immigrant. And as immigrants, what we do is we leave our comfort zone and go somewhere else and make that place our home. In the process, we forget who we are. In the process, we begin to copy and emulate what we see. In the process, our children do the same and sooner or later the culture is forgotten whenever you see me in the Dallas Fort Worth area in the United States on any stage you will see me with a scarf on my head it's not like I don't have beautiful hair it's just my statement it puts me right back to the motherland if I don't have that on me you will see me with a kente cloth or one of these cloths on my hand just so that I don't lose my identity. My identity and my DNA might be from Nigeria, but right now my identity and my DNA is in all of you because we all are the same. We came here the same way. And when we depart, guess what? We don't go with anything. The only thing that we leave behind is what and how we've lived our lives. So I ask you a question again, who are you? Do you know who you are? Can somebody help me answer a question? Who are you? Somebody, anybody, just give me, give me something, if you would. I'm gonna to come to you if you say nothing. Your what? Your mother, fantastic. Any other person? A wife, awesome, who else? Educator, yes. Sparkle of divine. I love her. She knows where I'm going. Who else? The voice. Who else? Child of God. The daughter. A nurturer. Woman of purpose. The light. Who? A comforter. Give me something. You're recording me, you know what I'm talking. Give me something. A wonder. Do you see how the, the light in this room just lit up a little bit? When you know who you are, it makes things a little bit more different. Yes? So who you are is, yes, all those identifiers that you identify yourself with. But I want to take you back to that child again. How was that child formed? Two people who thought they were in love, or maybe not. <laughs> Human protoplasma for those who are in the medical field. And in that spit-like, slime-like thing is the color of your eyes. In that slime-like thing is the height that you are going to grow into. In that slime-like thing is your complexion, your hair color, in that slime-like thing. And you give yourself all those limita lim limiting, limiting, limiting ideas. Whenever you say, I am, you are creating. Whenever you use the words, I am, it's a creation. For those of you who are Bible students, 
or those of you who go to church regularly, the only place in the Bible from Genesis to Revelation where God tells you his name is in the book of Exodus when Moses and him met. And when Moses said, who should I say it is? He said what? He said what? Every other name that God has, we gave to God. Jehovah Jireh, somebody gave that to him. Jehovah Nisi, somebody gave that to him. El Shaddai, somebody gave that to God. The only place in the Bible where God tells you who he is, is in the book of Exodus. And in that book, he said what? I am that what? Aha. Uh -huh. So whenever you use the word I am, know that you're creating. Then if you go back to the book of Genesis, in Genesis 1 and 26, you will see that when he created everything, he spoke, 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 spoke. Let there be light. Let there be this. Let there be that. Let there be that. Then in Genesis 1 and 26, he said, then he created man, what? In his own image. I'm going somewhere with this. Do you know who you are? Then he created man in what? Both female and male, right? And he told them to take dominion, right? Who are you? I ask again. Do you know who you are? And if you know who you are, how did God create the universe? With his words? So whenever you open your mouth to talk, you're creating. Because you are in the image and the creation of your maker. There's nothing else in this universe that I've looked at that does not look like their mother or their father. If you look at cats, it looks like cats. If you look at the kittens of the cat, it looks like what? If you look at dog, you look at the babies or the pups, it looks like what? So who are you? You cannot be except you are the creator, him or herself here on earth. The Bible tells us that. So when I ask who are you and people are like a little bit flimsy, I'm like, girl, hold on, hold on, hold on, come, 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 let's talk a little bit. Who do you say you are? You are divine. You are spirit. You are amazing beyond measure. When you go into a room, you fill the room with your spirit. So when you are dull and sad, and you know those people at work, you see them sometimes. When they come in, just turn your head. Because you know that they are not in any kind of creative mode. And they've carried a whole lot of baggage with them. And they will come and rub it off on you. You need to run the other way. You want to constantly be reminded of who you are. Amazing beyond measure. The replica of God, him, right here. You are walking this earth in the image of that who has created you. And you must take possession. God did not say, oh, when Moses asked him, who, who should I say send him? He did not say, oh, let me think about it. Or, oh, let me see. Maybe, maybe not. No, no. He said what? I am that I am. And that is who you are. You are a creator. Amazing beyond measure. Beautiful. Bold. There is nothing you cannot be. There is nothing you cannot have. There is nothing you cannot do. The only person that stops you from doing it is yourself. Nobody else. Do you know why? Because self, you're going to ask somebody, hey, I have this idea. I'm trying to bring in immigrants more than so that we can talk. Hey, nobody has done that before. Where are you going? Guess what? You listen to her. You listen to her and you sat down in your house. The only limitations that you have as a being, as a spiritual being, is that which you allow others to create for you or that which you have created yourself. So I want you today, I want to encourage you today to walk as though you know who you are.